ashwagandha. One pill solves everything. And it makes sense because it's being talked about all around the globe. Ashwagandha. 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 Steroid naturel, voici l'ashwagandha. It increases testosterone levels, helps build muscle, improves sleep, reduces our anxiety. All the doctors around the world recommend it. Ashwagandha can increase testosterone. Ashwagandha, or rather, propaganda. Let's begin. So what's up guys, welcome to your fitness pal and how old do you think this guy is? 30? 35? 40? So this guy's actually 47 and he spent over 1 million dollars on tests, treatments and especially supplements to be forever young. Neutralize my aging process. Good luck at the prom. Looking at his shelf can make you think it's a pharmacy, but if you look closely you can see the amount of supplements he takes and to be precise, 100 pills. A day. Uh, currently 100 pills a day. Yeah, looks like 18 but takes more pills than a 90 year old. But that's not the issue. If you look at the infinite amount of pills that he takes, you will see that the second pill he takes after he wakes up is ashwagandha. Which leads us to the hottest topic in the world right now. Ashwagandha. That's ashwagandha. It's a plant which is currently being talked about all around the world. In English, ashwagandha. In Hebrew, ashwagandha. In Arabic, Halil ashwagandha. Shukran ktir. Doctors, ashwagandha. Dancing doctors, and even babies. Is there ashwagandha in there? There is ashwagandha in there. <laughs> But there is a problem. Just the other day, an article came out about how ashwagandha is anti-stress, anti-anxiety, anti-depressant. And basically does everything except folding laundry and paying taxes. But there is a problem. You can always say that it worked for me. Because one can say that. I'm just so relaxed. Another person can say that. I'm still a fragile little bitch. And another person can say that his grandma took ashwagandha and stopped using her diapers. It's none of your business. And we'll never know who's right. That is why opinions, especially in the supplement industry, can have an influence on our own biases. And when we take one, we can be more prone to the placebo effect. This is why opinions are usually here, at the bottom of the evidence pyramid. And that's exactly why we're going to climb up to the top of the pyramid and check if this is good, bad, or just a fad. Muscle. Who builds more muscle? Men? Women? No. Exactly the same. The relative difference in the ability to build muscle between men and women on average is close to zero. So how are women not as muscular as men? Because men already start with more muscle due to the fact that they have more testosterone. Which leads us to the next point, testosterone. Testosterone is the male hormone. It's not testosterone, it's not that your toaster is on, it's testosterone. If I inject testosterone, I am in other words injecting steroids and potentially build more muscle. But how much testosterone? After all, if you now have 20% battery, another 1% won't do anything. The same goes with testosterone. I need a certain amount from which it becomes significant. Like the amount of likes and comments this video is about to get. Ashwagandha boosts testosterone levels. Even the dancing doctor said. But how much testosterone can we get from ashwagandha? Most of the studies were on men with fertility problems. That's why it's very difficult to generalize the results to healthy individuals. If we only take the studies on healthy individuals, which is about two and a half, on average on the ashwagandha group there was an increase of about 70 nanograms per deciliter, which is a little nothing and a lot of nada. Raises testosterone in men. First of all, during the day our testosterone level naturally fluctuates well above 70. Second of all, for comparison, when they raised people's testosterone levels by 300 nanograms per deciliter, they saw only a small improvement in strength and muscle mass. The big differences in muscle and strength come if I'm in or out of the very low range and I go up to the higher range or outside of it. This is why buying ashwagandha in order to increase testosterone levels, despite the beautiful red coat, is nonsense. Next, strength and muscle building. That's a claim you'll hear all around the interwebs. Muscles got significantly bigger. How many studies are there in total on the subject? Currently, Two. Ashwagandha, stop playing with me. One that the whole world is talking about. After two months of ashwagandha, the participants improved their maximum bench press weight by 
46 kilos or if you want it in percentages then 140 percent and it doesn't quite add up if we compare it to other studies which were exactly the same duration none of them even come close to half of that and in this study the participants were injected with steroids and although it's difficult to compare different studies because different starting points exist but you don't see these results anywhere else neither in percentages nor in raw numbers you don't even see it in the second ashwagandha study that showed a tiny benefit so does it improve maximal strength? Not convincing enough according to today's literature. Does it help build more muscle? According to one study, which is again a little bit sus, maybe, but still not convincing enough. But sleep, here it gets more interesting. If I were to read the summary of this meta-analysis from 2021, I would see that indeed ashwagandha improves sleep. Even the dancing doctor said, and he's right, but he's also wrong. How do you measure sleep quality? One questionnaires where people report on themselves low quality measurement second actigraph a bracelet that you put on your wrist that measures movement through which you can estimate sleep or sleep cycles better quality and the highest quality of them all polysomnography which in this meta-analysis wasn't included in any of the studies each study in this meta-analysis was done on a different population this is why it's very difficult to take this information and generalize it to the whole population some of the studies were six weeks some eight weeks and some 12 weeks how much will the ashwagandha help then, if at all? Only God knows. The bottom line is, as of today, ashwagandha shows a little improvement in sleep quality. However, small improvements in some parameters for some people sometimes. Which leads us to the last, last, last thing. Anxiety. The one benefit that seems more consistent than anything else is anxiety. The topic that everyone talks about the most. People who suffer from anxiety. Including the dancing doctor. According to a meta-analysis from 2022, there's evidence that it can have a positive effect on mild symptoms of anxiety. It's not anti-anxiety and not anti-depressant, whatever the f*** that means, and do not treat your anxiety with ashwagandha. We're not there yet. And also here some of the studies were done on people that have already been diagnosed with anxiety. So again, we have the difficulty to generalize the information to the rest of the population. What a bottom line, watch the performance with the dancing doctor the problems with the studies that we have today is that they're all short-term with a small sample size and the high heterogeneity the fact that the study exists is one thing. The fact that you need to know how to interpret it is another, which is one of the biggest problems in social media. Ashwagandha. 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 So what's our recommendations? This and also this. It's worth more than any supplement out there around the globe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, write down here in the comments what you would like to see next. And we will see you in the next video that will probably be even better than this one. Bye bye.